Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into this energy. everybody is doing well i've been working 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 okay i've been so busy doing hair and but i'm here okay and we're about to get into this reading i hope everybody is doing well and feeling good okay getting through the holidays okay yes 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 going into a brand new year on what we have been waiting for okay so, let me drink some water real quick. And we're going to jump straight into this reading. Okay, make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe. So, it looked like you're masculine, okay? He want to sit up here and come to you in peace. Can y'all see this? He wants to sit up here and come to you in peace, okay? And it looks like he wants to sit up here and communicate with you guys. Can you see? Okay, what we got to see? Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. But yeah, I want to sit up here and come to you in peace, okay? And wants to sit up here and communicate, okay? He's ready to sit up here and communicate with you, okay? The best way that he knows how, okay? And he wants to communicate. I don't know what's up. I've been trying to get this camera together. I'm just going to do one card at a time. But I don't know what's going on with it, okay? But hey, the devil is a lie. And we're going to sit up here and get straight to it, okay? 
So, like I said, your masculine wants to sit up here and come to you in peace, okay? He does, and your masculine is ready to sit up here and communicate with you, okay? Because your masculine, he needs your strength right now. He needs your strength, and he just wants to sit up here and make it right between you and him, okay? He feels as though if he sits up here and communicates with you, that you can give him the strength and everything that he needs currently. He needs your energy. He needs your love. And he wants to communicate with you, trying to figure out on how he can communicate with you. But it looks like he wants to sit up here and come in peace, okay? Your masculine, okay, is finally ready to sit up here and put his crown on. He ready to sit up here and put his crown on. I don't know why this is like this. Can y'all see? Ready to sit up here and put his crown on and ready to make things, you know, better ready to finally take his place okay ready to sit up here and come out of his ego okay because your masculine is sitting up here yearning for you yearning for you wanting you okay and he finally ready to come out of his head finally ready to put his fucking attitude bullshit or whatever the fuck he been tripping on to the side okay because one thing he knows okay is that he wants you he wants you in his life and he is definitely definitely yearning for you okay finally ready to sit up here and take his place as your divine masculine okay your masculine is currently sitting up here emotionally withdrawn. He emotionally withdrawn, okay, away from somebody that he got a family with, somebody that he had a baby with, somebody that his ass was lustful, okay, and fucking out here, okay? That bitch that he picked over you, that he wanted to fuck so badly, okay, that he allegedly, okay, got fucking pregnant, okay? He bored with the bitch, okay? He's super bored with this bitch, okay? And the family life that he curated with this bitch, okay? He pulling back. He ain't feeling like he did about the situation. And that bitch that he just felt as though he had the fucking fuck, okay? The one that he had that baby with, okay? Super, super fucking bored, okay? That baby ain't keeping him, okay, stuck like the karmic thought he would. This karmic, okay, is currently feeling fucking scorned, pissed off, okay. And um, she's pissed off. This third party is super, super pissed off because this masculine has unconditional love for you, okay. Has unconditional love for you, okay. And, um, she feels some type of way about it. She do. She feels some type of way about it that this masculine, no matter what she done done, all the bullshit, all the tricks, all the manipulation, his ass still wants you, okay? This bitch over there looking a hot mess. Her head is spinning, okay? This bitch is looking crazy, okay? And she just, you know, got a evil presence to her right now okay and she mad she pissed off that this masculine still yearns for you okay yearns for his divine feminine okay this masculine okay is very upset that he didn't sit up here and um let the stars in line when god tried to make it come together okay this masculine feels as though he done burnt a whole lot of unnecessary money on this karmic, okay? Choosing this karmic, dealing with this karmic, and everything that she wanted him to do concerning that baby, okay? He is super bored, uninterested, and he mad about everything that he done spent money on, okay? He's super pissed off, okay? 
This masculine is sitting up here thinking about you at a distance, okay? Even though you guys is apart, he still can't stop thinking about you. This masculine realizes that he needs to make necessary changes. Okay, that all that tangling and all that fucking and all that lustful shit didn't get his ass nowhere. Realizing that it's a lot of different things that he needs to set up here and change. This masculine wants God to align the stars back yet again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Your masculine is currently sitting up here focused on stability right now. Okay, his finances. Okay. Something could be going on with a vehicle, okay? Be careful on driving in the rain, okay? Just be careful, okay? But yeah, it's even, you know, your enemies have been watching you, trying to make you, you know, come out of your character, be in your emotions, okay? A lot of people that was snaking you, trying to come up against you, that was trying to make you fear them, bow down to them, okay? They respect you because no matter what, you didn't fold, okay? Due to all the bullshit that these motherfuckers tried, okay? Trying to sit up here and snake you and come up against you, okay? You could be a loner. You could be a person, you know, that likes your own company, okay? And it looked like it was four to five people that just wouldn't stop the bullshit, okay? That constantly kept doing evil, snaky shit against you, okay? But they have no other choice but to sit up here and respect you as well. A lot of people is going through karma currently, okay? On trying to affect your destiny trying to affect different things that God has planned for you, okay? Mm -hmm. It looked like your masculine was a part of this group, these people that was trying to block your destiny, okay? Your masculine is currently sitting up here going through karma, okay? Due to his ass sitting up here doing potions and magic, okay, with three people significantly, okay, that he was... Getting drunk and drinking with, okay? Doing spell work, okay? These people did everything to break you and him up, okay? And um, your masculine didn't do nothing but drink and keep shit um, going, okay? With the alcohol and his crazy craziness as well, okay? Your masculine has also been sitting up here doing magic with other people, okay? Or knew about some type of magic being done against you to break you up from people that cared, loved you, okay? They sitting up here getting karma, okay? For sitting up here trying to come up against your destiny and what God had planned for you, okay? Your birthright, okay? Trying to put up road blockages, trying to put up delays and shit, okay? But no matter what they did, you still came out on top, okay? If they never ever tell you that they don't respect you, they do, okay? All your masculine did, okay? Now his ass over there bored with the bitch that he chose to be with, okay? Not even a fucking baby, okay, that they allegedly have is sitting up here keeping your masculine. Okay, happy currently, okay? For real. Okay, mm-hmm. And the bitch that he wanted to fuck and lay up with, okay? She's super hot right now. She's super pissed off because she know everything that she has done in the back, in the background, okay? And his ass can't stand her. The more magic this bitch do, the more emotionally withdrawn his ass become. Okay, your masculine been sitting up here wanting to sit up here and come back towards you ever since the fucking summer, okay? Looked like he came up with the conclusion, okay, that he would go through hell and back for you, okay? All that his that he willing to sit up here and do, okay, for you. Still holding on to you at a distance, okay? At a distance, okay, let's see what else is going on. What else is going on, Lord? Okay, yeah, your 
here masculine could be sitting up here facing jail time okay could feel imprisoned by the bitch that he with okay but he all up in his head, okay, about going to jail, okay, or going through spiritual jail because he is going through karma currently, okay. A lot of shit that he did in the background, okay, when he thought nobody was looking, okay. His ass is going through it, okay, for the shit that he participated in, the part that he played, okay, with a lot of shit, okay. Your masculine is telepathically trying to sit up here and reach out to you. What else? Yeah. After he sat up here and backstabbed you. Backstabbed you, lied on you, okay? And just to only see that the bitch that he married, okay, was the main person out here getting they fuck on. Okay, sucking and fucking, okay? He done found out what his wife has been doing in the background, okay? Your masculine is feeling betrayed, backstabbed in his feelings currently, okay? About this third party, okay, that he was dealing with, realizing that he still has unconditional love for you, okay? But see, that's his karma, okay? All he did to hurt you and to come up against you and how he broke up with you, okay, did you dirty just to find out that this bitch was doing his ass d even dirtier behind his back, okay? He feel like this bitch put two knives in his back, okay? The bitch that he was fucking married to, okay? Been the main one out here fucking and sucking and he knows this, okay? And he feeling some type of way questioning that baby, okay? Question that baby. Feel super snaked in some type of way, okay? Then spent a lot of money, okay? On this karmic and this baby, okay? Just to sit up here and find out, okay? That she been out here getting her fuck on. And who we talking about? His fucking wife, okay? His wife. What else? What the hell? Yeah. Your masculine can be unawakened or the karmic that he dealing with is unawakened, okay? Very unawakened, okay? You've been patient, okay? You've been patiently working on yourself, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she unawakened or... The lie was that you was unawakened, okay? Yeah. Divine Feminine, you letting God sit up here and steer you in the right direction, okay? Yep. Your masculine wants you to have empathy for him, okay? Do everything that he's going through, okay? Divine Feminine. You have cleansed everybody out your energy, okay? You still sitting up here healing each and every day. Letting God lead your steps, okay? Yes. Okay? Not letting nobody sit up here and victimize you. No. You have surrendered and gave it all to God. Knowing that God is going to sit up here and take care of it, okay? You misunderstood because you're spiritual, okay? Now everybody that did you dirty want to come back and compromise, okay? After all the gossip and the lies, okay, that was spreaded and told, now people want to come back and compromise with you because they see that you the truth, okay? You wasn't going to sit back, okay, and let nobody victimize you, divine family. And these people are bitter, okay? And the people that was doing this shit is people from your past, okay? Now, okay, that you winning with God, now people want to come back and celebrate with you after they was out here doing your ass super dirty, okay? They thought that you was going to see the glass half empty, but you see the glass half full, okay? Yes. Okay, God is going to send a lot of people to be able to support you, okay? Especially in this upcoming new year, okay? Divine Feminine, you're going to birth a lot of great ideas. You might even birth a new baby. 
okay? But this is your time. Timing is here, okay? And you're going to end up crossing paths, okay, with a good man. And whoever this man is that you is going to cross paths with, he going to be went through a lot of different things as well. He going to have a daughter, okay? He's going to have a daughter, yes, okay, that's going to want to come in your life and save the day, okay? A shining armor. And guess what? It's all because you surrendered, trusted God, okay? And walk by faith, not by sight, okay? Yes, 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 divine friend, okay? You're not sitting up here letting people project who the fuck they is on you no longer, okay? No, okay? And you don't want to be around nobody that falls for temptation, okay? That's not what you want to be around, okay? You don't want to be around no men that want to deal with bitches that own the pole, okay? And you definitely don't want to be around nobody that is easily tempted, okay? Flesh that is weak, okay? You done sitting up here dealing with people that it has a fake fake um persona okay they like to wear a mask and shit you done with that and you no longer dealing with people that have shown you they true fucking colors okay you sitting up here trusting your intuition you letting god lead you the whole way okay and you so grateful to god okay for this new opportunity this new beginning that god is blessing you with okay yes okay you very affectionate. Your dogs, your animals, your cats can be very affectionate with you. Animals love you, okay? But most of all, God loves you. And God is sitting up here showing you affection through everything. Your love has faded for your masculine. You don't feel the same way, okay? You tired of your masculine wanting to come back towards you. He wounded, he broken, and he never wanted to sit up here and change. Never wanted to work on himself. You're not going to let him victimize you with his bullshit, okay? That's not what you're going through, okay? You tired of your masculine wearing a disguise out here acting like a clown, okay? This is the same person that didn't even have enough decency to even console you, to even give you any type of explanation or anything. He just left you to have to deal with your own feelings, left you to have to deal with what was true, what was not. You had to give your own self-closure, okay, because he didn't care enough to do so, okay. Now here his ass come back, want to sit up here and come and save the day. Now he want to be superhero, super negro, okay. His ass want to come back and do, okay, after his ass been out there playing with the devil, okay, after he sold his soul, after he done did this, did that, now his ass want to come back and act like he's saving the day, but it's a gang of fucking bullshit, okay, he wounded, he fucked. He sucked all out, okay, and he done been through some things, okay, because the devil, okay, then did his ass dirty, okay, with all that hokey pokey and that his ass love to do, okay, we talking about your masculine, okay, hmm, Mr. Romeo, okay, the one that betrayed you, the one that kept up all this toxic ass bullshit against you, and now his ass is realizing, okay, that he love you. Now, all he did, all he said, all he participated in, now he realizing that he fucking loves you now, okay? But it's too late. Divine Feminine wants some me time, okay? She wants some me time doing her thing, working on her abundance, Working with God each and every day, okay? Getting that love and nurturing that she always needed. And it was always within the Most High, our Father, okay? Yeah. This Divine Feminine feels as though this masculine ain't trying to do nothing but come back and be a trickster. Trying to come back. Trying to play games, okay? When she sees right through the bullshit, Okay? She realizes that if she sit up here and take this masculine back, it's going to be conflict, drama, and it's going to be extra pain that she's not willing to go through. 
she see the truth on who was bringing conflict and drama in her life. And she realizes that this masculine was behind a lot of the unnecessary bullshit. God has shined the light on it, okay? Why his ass want to come back and fake the phone acting like he's saving the day and he cares. Your masculine is toxic as a motherfucker, okay? He is city slicker. He is a city slicker. And he hate the fact that you love yourself. He hate that shit. He do. He hate that shit. Your masculine was out here gossiping, lying, talking about you, doing all type of shit behind the scenes against you, okay? With this bitch, okay, that he was fucking married to, that was out here fucking and sucking, okay? He was out here doing the fucking most, okay? With others, okay? When you was minding your business, Divine Femme, mm-hmm. This is why you want the door to be closed. You don't trust his ass. And why should you? Somebody go that far to do all the fake shit that his ass did? What makes you want to keep that door open? Yeah, you want to keep it closed. Especially after everybody's about to tell and say what he said, okay, and did against you. Your masculine was very toxic, okay? And now your ass see the fucking truth, okay? You see the truth. And one thing you see is that his ass will always be tempted, always be wanting to get sucked up by somebody, okay? Yeah. You feel as though your masculine was wearing a mask the whole fucking time, okay? You was waiting on your masculine to do right, and he never, ever did right. He never, ever showed up, okay? And now here his ass talking about he love you and want to be with you. Okay, after the fact, okay, when his ass is wounded, hurt, and broken right now, okay, for real, your masculine sat up here and shook hands with the devil, okay, I don't even know if he tried to sit up here and sacrifice you, set you up, or what, okay, but he did a lot of things he had no business doing and participating in, okay, be aware of letting his masculine back into your life, okay, Say he's playing with the devil, okay? You're going to have a lot of support this year, okay? Mm-hmm. Your masculine was behind a whole lot of shit, okay? All these people that was jealous of you, had something to say about you, he was right there with their ass with this bullshit, okay? I don't know who masculine this is, okay? Especially when you did nothing but love him, show him affection and care for him, Okay? Your masculine is upset that he missed the opportunity. He hate the fact that you trust your intuition. He hate the fact that he can't manipulate you no more. And he hate the fact that everything that him and them dusty, dirty ass bitches that got a lot to say about you want to project who the fuck they is to on you, okay? Mad that you done surrender and gave it to God. They hate the fact that your faith is like it is within God, okay? And guess what? They hate the fact that God is going to send somebody in your life that's going to save the day. You no longer feel the same way about your masculine. Knowing, okay, on how patient you was with your masculine. Your masculine is not easy to deal with, okay? It was a lot of tears that you cried behind his ass. You was really patient with your masculine. And the way that he did you dirty, okay, to sit up here and and uh, um, fit in with all these motherfuckers that had an issue with you, okay, you got every right to feel some type of way. And this is why he wants your forgiveness, because he know it's wrong too. God is steady shining the light on his masculine, letting him see how wrong his ass really was, okay, especially when y'all had a soul connection. Y'all was supposed to build together, grow together, do great things, okay? He didn't get it right in the past life, left you hanging, okay? For real. Now his ass is eliminated and he mad about it, okay? Mad that you see the signs and synchronicities to everything, okay? Mad 
that you now have an acquired taste. You know what you like and what you ain't going for. Ready to sit up here and send you a message now. Now you're ready to communicate, okay? Now that God is about to send you somebody in that's going to be mature, that know how to handle you, okay? That's going to love you properly, healthily, okay? For real. Your masculine rejected you, left you broken, okay, hurt, with no explanations, okay? Left you to figure it out, okay? And mad that God is going to send you someone new, okay? Mm-hmm. He wanted to be over there with that other bitch, okay? Being led by the devil, shaking hands and doing shit, okay? And mad that somebody's going to love you the right way. The happier days is coming, okay? Somebody always going, this new man, this new love is going to sit up here and always let you know that he care for you and he adores you. He is, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. You're going to end up hearing some tea and some drama. You watch right after Christmas, you're going to hear a lot of hot ass tea, okay? He is, okay? But... You're going to hear a lot of hot ass tea, okay, about your masculine going through some type of challenges, something's going on, okay, and there's something having to do with that bitch that he chose, okay, he going to sit up here and make another discovery, okay, that's going to blow his mind, okay, mm -hmm. and his ass is going to be confused, okay, he's going to be in unbelief, okay, mm-hmm. But hey, no worries. God finna send you somebody that cares, that ain't gonna never leave you hanging, never ever leave you behind. Gonna always make sure you stay by your side, okay? For real. You gonna be able to see this, okay? You When you gonna be able to see it, and you gonna be able to feel it, this is a good person, good man, this about to come into your life, okay? And many others that's gonna support you on your journey. 2024 is going to be your year. You will see. You will see. You're going to be so unavailable to the bullshit. You are, okay? Yes. Okay? Because God has seen how patient you have been. Okay? Nice and steady. Okay? Slow and steady. Wins the race. And that's what you have been. And this is why God is about to send you somebody. Okay? That's going to love you. What this card say? Soulmates deeply in love, two peas in a pod. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, yeah, this is how you're gonna be feeling. Okay, but yeah, this person that's coming into your life is always gonna be yours. Okay, to infinity and more. Okay, you will see, and gonna be so loving, so patient, so caring. And the love is always going to burn, okay? But, yeah, we're going to leave it right there, you guys. I will be back with another reading. Make sure you push that like button and subscribe, okay? And talk to you guys in a minute. Bye.